This is code.org. What do we got here? Ooh, an apple. Attack! Okay. Changing fruit. Now that we know how to use if statements, you can do more than just check if the apple, if the apple has reached a scale of 2. You can turn it into a pair once it happens. Okay, so, okay. Use a conditional in the draw loop. We never checked if the apple has, yep, reached, okay. Uh, use a conditional, don't let this word scare you. They mean an if statement. So, use a conditional in the draw loop to check whether fruit.scale is greater than two. If it is, change the fruit's animation to a pair. All right, so what are we doing? Conditional, guys, again, if statements. We haven't gone over that a bunch, but conditional is an if statement. So we're checking if the fruit scale is greater than a 2. If it is, change the fruit scale to a pair. All right. Let's look for if. I think it's in control. Yep. And now I'm going to put my if. I don't think they gave us a specific spot. All right. So no, we are using an if statement, and we're going to use a Boolean to check. So what do we need to know if the fruit scale is greater than 2? So here's my if statement now. I need greater than, right? Because they said greater than 2. So greater than, and then I'm going to put a 2 on this side. Now what am I checking? I'm checking if the fruit's scale is greater than 2. So let me do scale here. And keep in mind, since the draw loop runs 30 times a second, what's happening? Well, every time the draw loop runs, the fruit's scale is equal to Whatever the fruit scale used to be equal to, so the first time it runs, it'd be 0 0.1 plus 0 0.01. So then it'd be 0 0.11, new value is 0 0.11. Draws a sprite, blanks out the screen with a white background, it says, okay, fruit.scale has a new value, it's its old value. What did we just say? 0 0.11. Well, now it's 0 0.1 plus 0 0.01, so now it's 0 0.12. Its new scale is 0 0.12, which is 12% the normal size. And it keeps looping, 0 0.13, 0 0.14. We're checking once that fruit is greater than 2, which might sound like it takes forever, but if it runs 30 times a second, it won't. And what do we want to do when it's greater than 2? To a pair. Okay. Well, how do we change an animation? we got to set it. So we can actually do that down here in the draw loop in our if statement. So the code in an if statement will only ever run if the thing is true. So if it is not greater than 2, the code in this blue mouth thing does not run. It does not execute. It does not happen. If it is greater than 2, then the, it says, oh, true. The computer says, true. This is a true statement. The Boolean is true. It drops down and runs the code inside. Once it runs this code, it just continues on like normal. If this is false, it doesn't run the code inside. It goes beneath and runs and continues the code like normal. Let's check this out. You can also see here how fast it's changing. And boom. So one more time. It looks like it gets bigger but, uh, suddenly, but that's just the pair being a different shape. Boom. Right there, too. <laughs> awesome. Onward. Ah, attack.